Bell responds to his replacement's huge game. Hello and welcome to The Fumble here in LA. I'm Crystal Rich. Make sure you click the subscribe button below to stay up to date on the latest sports news and join our notification squad. And you can follow me on social media at Crystal Rich. The Steelers should have won over the Cleveland Browns but they didn't. The game ended in a tie after overtime. This was a sloppy game. It was raining hard. Big Ben had several interceptions, and their star running back, Le'Veon Bell, still was not there, in my opinion. Even though no one won this game, this was a huge win for the Browns and a huge loss for the Steelers. The Steelers were obviously the favorites to win this matchup, but they didn't. It proves that the Browns can hang in there with much better teams. Should we blame Le'Veon Bell? I called this. I said if the Browns end up winning this over the Steelers, Le'Veon Bell's fan base is going to raise all hell and blame him. Thankfully for the sake of Le'Veon's safety when he's around fans, the Steelers didn't win. If he was there, would that give the Steelers the extra edge they needed? We will never know, but we do know that Bell was watching, and it seemed like he was paying close attention to his second year replacement, James Conner, who by the way, has a very interesting haircut. I'm not sure that Barber should ever cut again, but Conner did cut up on the field. He had two touchdowns, 31 carries for 135 yards and 57 receiving yards. Not too shabby. He did have a bad fumble though. Again, it was raining. But Le'Veon, oh Le'Veon Bell, said so much by saying so little. He tweeted out an inspector emoji. What does that even mean? It's so ambiguous, but it's also so clear to me. To me, it looks like he's playing super close attention to the man who's replacing him, James Conner. Others thought it was a jab. One journalist tweeted out, is this shade? I think it's shade. Le'Veon replied saying, no shade, just never witnessed a tie before. But do you really believe that's what he meant when he was in the middle of tweeting out that emoji? There are so many other emojis he could have used. Drop a comment and let me know what you think Le'Veon really meant. Or if he was watching James Conner, who just got two touchdowns. Now, speaking of his two touchdowns, I'm not trying to start any beef, but some folks in the Twitter world think Connor was throwing shade at Bell with his TD celebration. By the way, this was his first touchdown in his NFL career, and his first touchdown since November of 2016 when he played college ball. Take a look. Connor to the end zone for his first NFL touchdown. Now, how could you think that is shade? To me, it was like childlike enthusiasm. It's every young football player's dream to score a touchdown in the NFL. His dream just came true, and thanks to a hole created by the O-line, he practically got in untouched. But some folks still think this is shade. One fan said, Connor's TD celebration was over the top, hugging each lineman, a message to Le'Veon Bell, perhaps. Le'Veon Bell missed out on his $855,000 game day check because he did not want to sign his $14.5 million franchise tag. He wants that long-term deal. When do you think we'll see Le'Veon return to the Steelers? Do you think it's too late to work out a new deal? And did Connor throw shade at Le'Veon with his touchdown celebration? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching The Fumble, I'm Crystal Rich.